M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're looking here at WJSTX on the Zygu X6 100. Let's just turn that down. So the first thing you want to do is when you connect the USB cable into the top port, which is the DV port, uh, to your connect it straight to your PC. Then what you want to do is just right click here on Windows 10 and go to Device Manager. And then have a look here at the double click ports and just right click here on you're going to have COM7 and COM6. I'll show you in a second which one I use but I did change the board rate on both. So go to properties and then go over to port settings and look 19200 and I haven't changed the rest. 19200 and we've got data bits 8. Same goes click the one underneath, right click with your mouse, click go down to properties port settings 19200 and then just click OK and you know that's all set up you know that the cable is working because if it wasn't you um it wouldn't even show up would it so the next thing is to go and look at your settings so go file go to settings and let's do might as well go straight to audio because we're on that look micro USB audio device so click that on the input Underneath that, output, speakers, USB, audio, device. And that's what I've put. Radio, I've selected uh, that's the tab to the left, X6100. I haven't changed any of this from default, but I have selected serial COM port 6. Now, if you remember my COM port settings, so I go back to device manager, double click. That is the one underneath, look, COM 6. That's the, so it's the the lower one serial B is the one that works for me so close that and then again board rate make sure you select that 19200 cat you've got cat here none none and then when you click test cat it will go green if it's correct okay and then you can test the PT and it will TX so that all looks good to me audio I haven't actually changed anything else um, you can, you can change colors and everything. But I, this is all I've done. And we're in TX here. I mean, I've got a really bad signal here. I need to uh, get a better antenna connected because it's literally terrible, as you can see. Uh, we are, I am hearing some WJSTX. Now, to use it, all I do is I'll find a gap here on this big blue grid. And I'll right-click, click Set RX Offsets, where I'm looking for a gap like that. Right-click on the mouse set rx tx now one way is just to enable tx and then see this slider along the bottom that's green it's going across it will um when it gets to the end it will automatically go into tx like so and now there you are it's tx you can and you can hold that if you want click halt to the right here you've got halt now you've got tune here which puts it into tx and what you're looking for is the agc if you look at my Zygu just above the where it says fill AGCA it's right down low but you can see the TX on the screen um, the screen on the scope you can see my TX it's definitely TXing so that looks fine to me click halt we've done the enable the other way you can do it is you can double click one of these stations and it will automatically try and communicate with that station um, as you can see now and it should start from this list of messages here at the top where it's trying to connect him so connect him so see here underneath where it says enable tx you've got one two three four five six and it'll just go down through and if it's a if it's a good contact it'll go you'll get a red line here i'm gonna have a little fiddle with my antenna and work out why i've got a bad signal so look you've got cq iz now is that him replying well, i think it goes red when he does so uh, I'll let it run for another minute or so, and then we'll just see what happens. And thanks for watching my channel. Uh, please remember, if this helps, to like and subscribe.
and we'll just try another one now see if that works but you can see it's all working and working great enjoy FT8 it's WJSTX I'll put the link for the download in the description as well 73 all the best <laughs> 